The theater filled up fast at Carpenter Performance Hall in the Irving Arts Center during a very special Children's Day at the theater event. Today we're going to be performing Jack and the Beanstalk. It's a show that was actually built in 1995. Uh, it originally debuted in Arlington, Texas, but it is going to be, uh, it's, been, it's been refurbished and updated, but uh, it's going to be performed here at the Irving Arts Center for the for the kids of Irving. Geppetto's Le Theatre Day Marionette teamed up with the Irving Parks and Recreation Department to host the free show. We just wanted a lot of kids who may not have had a theater experience and a lot of we wanted parents who may not be able to afford to bring multiple kids to the theater. We wanted to, to give them a live performance experience. Geppetto's decided to show the kids a performance they would be familiar with. Jack and the Beanstalk is a perennial favorite of all the kids, boys and girls, and it has a lot of magical stuff that happens on stage, so the kids really love it. Well, hello there, lad. Are you here to see the magic show? I see you beating the crowd to see Men of the Great. Wizard and Conjurer Extraordinaire! Um, who's that? I know parents are always looking for things for kids to do in the summertime. And like I said, I don't think that a lot of children, they go to the movies and they see movies on television, but a lot of them don't go to live performances. So we wanted to teach them about the etiquette of being in a theater and just to give them exposure to a live performance by top-notch professionals. And for some of these kids, this marionette puppet show will be a first-time experience. These are live characters on stage. They don't they don't think of it as puppets anymore. It is a live action show on stage. It's great. Children's Day at the theater succeeded in putting on a sold out show that had the kids in disbelief and amazement as they watched these puppets come to life. I think I smell an English man. For About Town, this is Susan Kamyon. Oh, <laughs> Oh, the ear!